Fighter jets get an electromagnetic liftoff. The U.S. Navy's newest carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford, last week successfully launched a fighter jet using a new electromagnetic launch system. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS, uses a linear motor drive to launch the aircraft. Traditional steam catapult systems use steam pressure to push the aircraft down the track, while EMALS uses magnetic fields to pull the aircraft forward. EMALS can control the launch with greater precision and works with a wider variety of aircraft, including light unmanned aircraft and heavy fighter jets. China says their next aircraft carrier will feature an EMOL system, while India and Britain have also revealed similar strategies. Don't let YouTube ad bots dictate what Tomo News reports. Support us at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more cool U.S. military tech. The Navy has a brand new badass toy. If you're a fan of video games, then you've surely heard of a rail gun. Well, the U.S. Navy has been testing a real one. The U.S. Navy recently released test fire footage from November 2016 of its electromagnetic railgun. The test was performed at Dahlgren's Naval Facility's new terminal range in Virginia. A railgun is comprised of three parts, a power source, a pair of parallel rails, and a moving armature. An electrical pulse is sent from the positive terminal of the power supply, up the positive rail, across the armature, and down the negative rail, back to the power supply. The loop induces a magnetic field around each rail that pushes on the projectile. This force is the Lorentz force. Using this force, rail guns can fire projectiles at speeds of over 4,500 miles per hour. The projectile is a non-explosive shell filled with tungsten pellets inside an aluminum alloy casing. The casing falls away after the projectile leaves the barrel. Railguns require 20 to 32 megajoules of energy and can hit fixed targets up to 220 miles away. Targets are then destroyed by the projectile's massive kinetic force. The kinetic energy warhead destroys its targets by its extreme speed upon impact. This eliminates the hazards of carrying high explosives and having unexploded ordinances scattered on the battlefield. Railguns also eliminate the need for chemical propellants, such as gunpowder. This means they could be potentially much cheaper to operate and can fire faster than current naval weaponry. Military allies test missile defenses. The U.S. and Japan have conducted a successful missile interception test with an interceptor launched from a guided missile destroyer. The test took place on Friday night off Kauai in the Hawaiian archipelago. A medium-range ballistic missile target was launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility on the island. The USS John Paul Jones detected the target with its onboard radar, then successfully intercepted the target with its Aegis missile defense system. The U.S. Navy has 62 guided missile destroyers equipped with the Aegis system, while Japan owns six. The U.S. has a robot warship that can hunt enemy submarines. The Department of Defense is reportedly home to many a robotic contraption these days, but they've all got nothing on this bad boy. The Sea Hunter is an autonomous drone designed primarily to track enemy submarines that are equipped with quiet electric diesel engines. It is currently being tested by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Unveiled in April 2016, the 40-meter vessel can travel at 31 miles per hour. It has no armaments. Its design resembles a Polynesian outrigger canoe. This helps it navigate the ocean and handle challenging 6-meter high waves. Advanced software and hardware allow it to operate autonomously around other vessels and remain at sea for months at a time. The testing period is set to finish in 2018. If it's successful, it will be handed over to the U.S. Navy. Hey, Tomo Sapiens! Help us beat the ad bots by joining our Patreon news squad at patreon.com. Futuristic U.S. Navy destroyer takes its first sea trials. The U.S. Navy's largest and most expensive ever destroyer took to the Atlantic Ocean on Monday for its first test in open seas. The 600-foot-long, 15,000-ton USS Zumwalt took four years to build at a cost of $4.3 billion. The ship is designed to appear on radar as a small boat, such as a fishing vessel. Its tumble-home hull angles inward as it rises from the waterline. 
The Zumwalt II 155mm guns can fire self-projected weapons, which can be guided in flight at targets up to 63 miles away. Further tests are scheduled on an electromagnetic railgun that can hit targets more than 100 miles away. The Zumwalt is powered by a 78 megawatt power plant and is the US Navy's first all-electric warship. The ship is about 100 feet longer and 20 feet wider than the US Navy's current class of destroyers and can hit top speeds in excess of 30 knots.